So, good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. Uh, only two uploads today. I've been a busy bee today, as you can see. My hairline's gone back another inch as soon as I had my ears lowered. And um, yeah, my tan's coming on nice in the mud. Golden Child FC. Uh, big up to everybody who's watched the three videos from yesterday. Um, the views are mad. The comments are lit. There's hundreds of comments on everyone. And big up to everybody who's been putting in the donations as well by pressing the thanks option near the share option down there. Same line as the, the dislike and like button. Um, so big up to everybody who has done that. I've replied to every single person who has donated as well. So um, if you want to do that, feel free. I will reply to every single one of them. I appreciate every single person that's done it. Uh, I know you work hard for your money. Maybe you don't work hard for your money. I don't know. And somebody that doesn't work hard for his money is Alvaro Morata. Uh, a player that we are linked to. Uh, before we get into talking about him, I will be back again at 11 o'clock UK time tonight with another video talking about Tierney and Gabriel, uh, both linked with moves by uh, Newcastle and Juventus. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, that'll be dropping at 11 o'clock. Make sure you have got your notification bells on and make sure you are sticking a like on this video. But let's speak about one of the most fraudulent footballers of all time, Alvaro Morata. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This guy, um, I swear to say, moody with this guy because how can a guy be transferred three, four times for over 50 million quid and literally do nothing every time? How is it even possible? This, in my opinion, is some off key type of money laundering scheme or saying he is the bait to money launder. Um, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, but I do think there is something moody with every deal that he's had. I can't lie. It just seems weird, if I'm honest. I've never really rated the guy. Um, it's just, it's what it is, isn't it? He's played 48 games this season and scored 12 goals. Like, come on. It's embarrassing for the fella. Uh, he does have nine assists. Um, so if you GA merchants want to add it together, it's nearly one in two. Um, yeah, great. Well done. Uh, but let's actually have a look at his career as a, a total. Um, let's have a little look here. So, um, Real Madrid. In fact, let's start at the bottom. Let's start right down here. Um, Atletico Madrid, 61 games, 22 goals, 6 assists. Chelsea, 72 games, 24 goals, 6 assists. Real Madrid, 95 games, 31 goals, 11 assists. Juve, 185 games, 59 goals, 39 assists. Hardly ripping up trees, is he? What's that? 60, 90, 134, 38, 158, 160. 180 goals he scored in his career. Um, not exactly smashed it, is he, the fella? Uh, for Spain, 52 appearances, 25 goals. Uh, made his debut in November 2014, so eight years ago. Uh, it's not great either, is it? Let's be honest. He is not a very good striker. He needs a million and one chances to convert. And I genuinely don't understand why, why, why we are even linked to this guy. Um, but we shall see. We shall see what happens because at the end of the day, uh, we do need strikers. <laughs> we probably need two of them, if we're honest. Although Eddie and Ketia is the new Thierry Henry, according to top gooners and super fans. Why is it every single top followed account, i.e. the ones with the most followers. Why are they all over the moon about Eddie and Kea? It's almost like the club have emailed them all to put the prop out, in it? Or they're in a group chat together, all the ones with over 100k followers, and they're like, right, I'll go first today, yeah, and then you will follow afterwards. Because they all sound the same. I've, I've genuinely, genuinely, genuinely am baffled as to how all of these top accounts with the most followers all have the same thought process. The law of averages tells you that one of them is going to say it's a crap deal. Why are we giving him 100 grand a week, et cetera, et cetera. But no, they all go down the same path. And do you know why? Because it's a lot, lot easier um, to grow a platform when you're super sickly sweet positive. Because do you know why? That's how Arsenal have had everyone's pants down for 15, 20 years. Because they have played on the fact that poor Arsenal, um, you know, with the Nearly Club, oh, we can't compete. You know, that narrative was out there all the time on the Wenger. Oh, well, no one's available. You know, we're paying the stadium off. You know, it's it's not easy competing with Man City and Liverpool. You know, so 
um, most fans will go, oh, okay then. Same with Arteta. They, they've bought into the, the ideology of, oh, yes, it's a youth project. <laughs> it's a youth project, yeah? Uh, well done to Jose Mourinho with his actual youth project. Um, the actual average age of uh, Roma's team is 25.3 years old. He has 28 players in that squad. Our average age is 0.7 less, 24.6, and we have 21 players. Maybe if you took out seven players out of his squad, uh, his average age would be a lot, lot less as well. So how come he can compete and win trophies? Uh, that's five finals in Europe, five wins, four clean sheets, four different clubs. Um, mad, really, when you think about it, because Top Gooners told me he was washed. He's got to a final with every single club he has been at in his first season since he's left Porto. Unbelievable manager, one of the greatest managers of all time. But um, just coming back to Morata, I ain't having him. I really ain't. That is not the, the signing that I want to see this summer. There's so many strikers in the Premier League that are clear of him. He's been in the Premier League and not exactly ripped up trees, has he? Do you know what I mean? Everywhere, everywhere he goes, I just think, nah, mate, you're not that good, are you? You're really not. Yeah, it's like it's almost like he needs like 10 chances to score a goal, which I'm sorry, it just ain't the one really, is it? Uh, when he played for Chelsea, I'm just looking at his stats now, he scored 15 goals in all competitions in 48 games and 11 of them were in the league. Um, does anyone think all these years later he's going to be better? 29 years old? Really? I'm not convinced by this guy one piece. And um, if we go and sign him, then uh, we're, we're kind of kind of effed. Um, Atleti played 41 games in a season um, after Chelsea and got 15 goals. It kind of seems like his benchmark is 15 goals everywhere he goes, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look at the following season, 1920 season. Oh, he got 16 that season. <laughs> has he ever actually hit 20 goals in a season? I don't think he has, has he? Let's have a look. Oh, he got 20 that season, 20, 21 season. He got 20 goals, 11 in the league, though. Um, 11 in the league, six in the Champions League, and then the rest were in the Cups. Um, but yeah, let's go back before that, actually. Let's go back to 15 16 season, 12 goals. So he's only ever hit 20 goals in a season, and it's not in the league. That's um, that's all comps. He's only ever hit 20 goals twice because he'd done it in 16 17 as well. This guy is not good, genuinely, is not good. He's only ever scored 16 Premier League goals in his entire career. And people are getting hyped up about Alvaro Morata. For what? I don't understand it. The amount of money it had cost in wages and agent fee and nah. Go and, go and buy someone that's already in the Premier League that has a potential to reach higher than they're at now rather than going for a 29-year-old, which, by the way, doesn't fit Project Youth, does it? Uh, because this is a youth project, apparently. And um, he's 29. So I don't really understand why um, why any is actually going to be thirty this year. So I don't understand why anyone thinks this is a good signing. Yes, he's um, a target man as such. Yes, he would win a few headers in the box. Uh, fantastic, well done. Um, so would Tammy Abraham. So would Calvert Lewin. So would Ivan Tony. There's, there's three I've just named straight off the top of my head. Um, let me know your thoughts and feelings on Alvaro Morata because, like I said, I don't rate him at all. It's not worth the money, um, but. It would be typical Arsenal to go out there and go and sign this guy because this is what we do. We buy average footballers at top dollar. And then when they um, don't perform, it's the Cronkies' fault. Interesting. Oh, one more thing before I wrap this up as well. I've seen a lot of people gassing up Martin Odegaard, um, mainly that, um, that Muppet, Patrick Timmons. Only three players created more chances in the Premier League than Martin Odegaard this season. He's only going to get better. OK, uh, is currently or has finished the Premier League season, creating six big chances, uh, which is a number 10's job. Big chances. Um, created chances. Well, what's a created chance? I passed you on the halfway line and you shoot. That's a chance created. Big chances. You're laying it on a plate. Yeah. He's only created six of them all season, um, which is level with Pascal Gross. Uh, that is level with um, Dwight McNeil. Uh, that is level with Shea Adams. Interesting. Very interesting. Damari Gray, same. Very interesting. Coutinho, by the way, and Ericsson, who landed in January, uh, they're both on five. Uh, Emi Buendia is actually on eight. There we go. It is what it is. I'll be back at 11 o'clock talking about Kieran Tierney. Kieran Tierney. 
and um, Gabrielle Magalish. Uh, make sure you stick a like on the video. Big up to everyone who's dropping the donations in. I do appreciate you all. Uh, big up to everyone who's putting a like on. I appreciate that. Subscribe. Big up to everyone. Hundreds of subscribers in the last two days. It's gone mad. So big up to you. Road to 70K is about 600 odd away. Uh, so thank you very much. I'll be back at 11, people. And uh, don't forget, leave your comments down there about Alvaro Morata. Would you take him? If so, um, <laughs> no, actually, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. We're out of here, people. I'll